Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning. Morning everyone. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome back to <laughs> boiling sunny southern yes. Spain. 45 degrees Celsius. They're given out for the next potentially next for the next few days. days. Yes, Lovely. not good. Um, however, today is not going to be quite that no. hot. So we're going to start on this window. Yes. It's coming out. I mean the new one going in. We've just about recovered from the last few days. Digging out floors and <laughs> yes, by hand. We'll barrow loads of rubble. Yes. Yeah. That's done. This is the final part of the demolition on this part of the house. It's the old kitchen. The main part of the house is over there. We'll be doing that later, but we can access that from the other side. We wanted to get this done while we can still access through other parts of the house that haven't yet been done, if that makes sense. Yes. So yeah, so we're going to be taking this out today, getting rid of all this mess from around it, and hopefully end up eventually with a nice stone faced nice new wooden window with glass in it with glass in it yeah. <laughs> exciting <This is> just... <laughs> we don't uh, yes so we're just going to start let's just do it obviously the first thing we need to do is um relocate our basil and mint big pot and the little vine that's down there the little baby vine we've got going down there i think we're just going to pop him here out of the way don't know how, how heavy it's going to be oh my gosh Right, you're right. Yeah. Untangle, untangle, that's it. Okay. You're right. Yeah. Sure. Gently. 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 Would have helped if I hadn't watered it just before I realised I've got to move it. Uh, okay. Come on, mate. I'm sorry. I know you're very comfortable. You have to untangle him. What a lovely smell from that mint <laughs> and the basil. It's all wafted and filled the air. Sharon's just untangling the vine because he wanted to grow up the, the little trellis at the side. Yes. Be careful I don't break him. And then all we've got to do now is got a bit of a stray branch here on the tomatoes, so secure that a bit better. And we're ready to go. Excellent. We should have enough access to this now. Uh, ready to go again. Today's top tip. So save your gym membership by a renovation project. <laughs> so the next step, moving inside, um, we've got this sort of, as if I'm expecting there's going to be a few old um, almond or olive branch lintels inside this wall. Um, this is obviously supporting this beam certainly and possibly these two a little bit. Hello Alfie, Alfie's here helping. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm going to do, I might move this light, I don't know, it might be alright, we'll see. Um, but I'm going to acro up across these. I'm going to try and span it and put the props each side so I've still got a good working area. Um, yeah, I might even put one a bit further back, just on this one as well. So I'll go and get some acros and get some timber and um, let's get it shored up. The beauty of these kitchen lights is you can just moves them out of the way to a certain extent as well. Are you helping Alf? Are you helping today? I don't think so. <laughs> Just, everything's a game to him. Right, let's get the acros.
go. Always the fun part with acros is um, leaving yourself enough space to work. Um, I'm going to I'm going to pop this out. I think. See what I've got in here. I've got a piece of steel, um, probably long enough that I can stick in um, if I need to put a new one in. But we'll have a look what we've got first. My Anna came a bit better with that light off, isn't it? <laughs> you can see, I can't. Um, I don't know if there's much merit in saving this window. Um, looking at it, I'm just going to try and knock it in um, from the outside. Be careful, watch the bars. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, it's a bit rotten at the bottom. Um, we'll set it to one side and study it. Right, next. Let's see what we've got in the top here. We've got this little one, of course, which I'm not sure what it's doing because it doesn't even sink into the stone much. Firewood. Oh, this is all new. Sort of, I don't know what it is. Um, it's tough to get out. We'll give it a whack. Rock hard. Anyway, it's got some power. This is an appropriate time to introduce our latest offering from Vivo. They've been very, very good to us. Um, this is a DS32 HE. It's a bit like our other shifter. Um, it's a big rotary percussion drill and it has a hammer chisel feature on it as well. Um, a good time for it now is because it's actually lighter um, than our old shifter. So to hold it up there is going to be a bit easier. So, um, yes, lovely. I shall get it unpacked and um, see what's in the box. Look at that, tidy, lovely. Um, it's mm, still quite hefty, but not as hefty as before. Um, you get with it um, a selection of masonry bits and a couple of chisels. It's a, a 3 8 Is that what they call them? SDS, a standard SDS, a normal SDS, um, as opposed to the one which is an SDS Maxi. Um, you get a little tool, undo that, that's where you put the grease to keep them going. Fabulous. Right, I'm going to get it put together, see what all these bits are, and um, see what it does. Right, now it's ready to go. Um, first observation, um, it kind of said it with a longer flex. I'm about to put my extension lead, I'm going to hand the acro to hang it from. Um, so basically, it does drill without hammer. It does drill with hammer action and it does just hammer action, which is what I've got with just a flat chisel in it, our preferred use. Let's put it to its, to its paces. They're not doing a bad job. Um, another useful addition to our demolition arsenal. <laughs>
think I'm going to attack it from the outside get all this muck off the opening is not far off we need to be a little bit wider inside for our new window um, but yeah all this lot's got to go hey crikey that's guys you've got he's got a, a speed adjustment on it as well from little to mad quite a nice touch I'm having it in mad mode <laughs> right <clears throat> It's just rubbish. It's coming off all right anyway, which is nice. I think this has been bodged because uh, this stuff's just made on the outside of the original. I'll say in inverted commas render. Right, I'll carry on. Well, that's done a bad job. Pretty much the outside sorted out. Um, great little thing. Um, nice and light as well, so you're not killing yourself trying to hold that but something super heavy above your head um, all the new added stuff is off new when I say new that's probably only been there a hundred years um, it's looking all right I think this was the original side I think this side had been modified when they put the window in there's a little bit inside I want to take off um, but yes time to get out of the Sun now I've been out on it for long enough the sun's coming right onto this window now, making it flare up, making me look super dark. Um, I think the last phase of this, if I try and stand in front of it, I'm not wide enough, um, is to take this, the old sill off and take this little bit off this side here, because that's a bit of a bodge. And um, the last phase of this phase, then we can look at what we're going to do next. I'm probably going to rake it all out then. Um, get it all back, get all the rest of the mess out of the way and um, then see if we can get the window in. Well first thing I'll get this sill off and get that side out. Right okay that's done. Next thing now I think get the air hammer out and finish off this line, clean off all this stuff inside, get that all nice and finished. Um, obviously we don't want to be doing that with the window and we'd rather get it done first up the top, have a look what's in here, this is absolutely solid I'm guessing and it looks like there is a lintel under there one of the original ones I don't think it's going anywhere to be honest um, so yep yeah, that's next oh and clearing up of course so operation clear up Duper is my new blower sucker is, I really don't think it'll cope with this, so it's a, a manual thing. And it won't be a good stone there, we'll save that one. So here we go, switch back to the old air hammer now. I'm just going to try and make a nice line up, up here, get rid of this. Um, Sarah's played most of this up, but there's no point doing another trip when I'm going to fill it up again anyway. Got temporary shutter in to keep the heat out. <laughs> Here we go. More of the same. It's just fine getting the line right. Right, excellent. Um, we're kind of done. We've got a nice sort of arch going around there. Um, might need a bit of fine tuning yet, we're not sure. But as you can see by the board now, the hole's actually getting bigger as more stuff falls out. Um, I've still got the outside to do and a bit round the reveals in there. 
Um, but I'm going to try and get that done in the morning um, when it's in the shade and it's a bit cooler because it's getting silly hot again now and it's in full on sun. But yeah, very happy with what, what we've done today so far. Um, so it's time for a nice cold beer and we'll pick it up in the morning. Well, it's very warm already this morning. Um, before the sun comes round, we we'll forecast a heat wave for three days. Silly, silly temperatures. Before the sun comes round, while it's still relatively cool, I want to try and get all these outside around this window cleaned up. Um, I think these need to come out of the wall. A little bit rotten. Um, and we don't need them at the minute anyway. Don't know if we want them or not. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. Even doing this is warm work. Um, right, I've got down this side done, back to solid stones. Underneath, back to those are nice big ones, exposed. Um, I'm going to do up this side up to here. We'll deal with this when we come to rebuild our Catalan vaulted staircase, um, which apparently originates from Roman times. Um, so I've just gone up here to do now and then across the top and get these bits out. So I'll carry on. Right, okay, I think that's as far as we want to go for now. Um, pretty alright, that. Um, I think the next thing to do is to try the framing and um, see kind of where we're at with our opening. Um, I'm not going to clean it up yet because we might have to tweak it, shall we say, a little bit. So, um, yeah, I'll go and get the frame and we'll have a little looky. Right, oh, there's our frame. It looks as though I've just got, we've got some rebuilding to do as you can see. <laughs> All the bright bits, but that always happens, the hole always gets bigger. I just need to take off a bit of this corner um, and that will go in then nicely. Um, I wonder if I can knock it off. Less is more. Right, oh, that is pretty perfect. I think. Right, I'll do a couple more tweaks, get it in, put the level on it so it's sat level at the bottom and on the vertical on the sides. Um, then we're good. That looks pretty good actually as it is there. Wonderful. So happy with that. The next thing to do is to give it all a good vacuum and clean up. Um, get all this loose stuff off, all the dust, and then, then we can look at getting the frame in. And that also is all the mess done, um, with the exception of some possible channels in the walls for electrics. Um, I'm very, very happy to say that we can now start rebuilding this room. Right, so the frame's in. I'm 
got a dead level on the bottom. It needs to go in a bit at the top. I've just put a wedge in just to hold it while we try and get some some sort of fixing in it. That's lovely, actually. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spray some expanding foam just in the corners just to lock it into place um, so it's not going to move and then we can start to rebuild around it so um, we'll get that done right so I'm just going to put a dab of foam on each corner just to lock it in place being very careful not to um, get it and anywhere I don't want it to be Oh, a loose bit. Ah. <laughs> Not quite tall enough. Hopefully that'll hold it now. As long as we don't get it on the face, um, we'll be all right. I'll go and check the outside. But yeah, hopefully that should just hold it where we want it. So there we go. These are a good height to blend in for the sill. This one, I want the stones to come just inside the frame. So what I'm going to do first is build up the inside, then we'll put a layer of sealer all the way around and then face these up to sort of across just to cover the front a bit um, but unfortunately we can't do anything now until that foam's gone off which is just as well because it's absolutely red hot um, our heat wave is is arriving <laughs> um, so we're gonna well we just have to wait for it to go off and then hopefully pick it up indoors later it's another day and um, forecast to be 45 Celsius today, 113 Fahrenheit, um, so we're up at them early. I want to get a coat of oil on this before we start trying to fill it in. Um, a, because it's easy to do it now while it's all bare, and B, it stops the lime soaking into the wood as much. So when I get my gloves on, we'll get that done. It should be dry first coat, mm, about an hour, hopefully less, um, so we can carry on and get the mortar in and get the the stonework started it's just linseed oil like we use on everything and all the wood right I've got my first mix done and I've tipped the camera down to try and so this doesn't obscure so you might be able to see me um, it's unbearably hot out there, like five minutes out in the sun. Whew, absolutely melting. What I've done, it's not too bad in here, the temperature here is 27 inside, which is quite nice. Um, I've cut some stones there, one for there, one to go in there, specially made. And um, I've got another one down there that's going to go in there. I want to pack up under the window first. I don't know how much we're going to get done today. I think this is going to be the only mix. And then perhaps start building up the sides. We'll start at the bottom, consolidating as we go. It's the usual thing. Working with stone takes a long time. It's a slow process, but um, very rewarding. So um, I'm going to get these in. Alright, we'll start off with this one. Um, get a better mortar under there. Try and get one on top of him. We can get him to go in. That's it. Give him a little tap, gently. I don't want to disturb this frame. There we go. 
and I've got a little sliver that's going to go in underneath it just to lock him up tight up to the frame there we go he won't be seen of course right the first one's in <laughs> carry on we're not doing bad at all here um, getting the sides built up again we're just getting the stones in place as always we'll point it up when we do the rest of it and as always the difficulty is um, finding the right stones <laughs> it's not an easy task just pick them up pick one up you think is going to be all right try it and then uh, tie it that way up wiggle it around actually I think he'd be pretty good in there right, let's have him in right I would have done rather well there I'm trying to block out the light because <laughs> it flares up um, we're up to here on this side and a bit lower on the other side so that's absolutely fantastic we can let that consolidate now and um, a bit of beat on it a bit harder um, but for now I think that's going to be us for today it's so hot um, so we we'll, should be better in the morning because it's supposed to be a bit cooler tomorrow uh, crazy temperatures out there I've had to put the opener on just to keep some of the heat out I didn't really want to because of the weight of the glass and the double glazed unit but it's on, it's shut, it's steady it should be alright if it dries now this will keep us a bit cooler if we need to keep the heat out it's so fierce out there oh well that's it yeah i'm just back from shopping it's absolutely boiling yeah, out yeah. there 42 celsius 108 fahrenheit yeah. and rising yeah so yeah i'm not doing any more we're gonna end the video there we are it's so, nice to see the window in place though when yes, i came it's, back um, it's looking good it's looking good a it's looking good. bit of a way to go but we'll get there and uh, a massive improvement yes i'll pick you up on the next one thank yeah. you so much for watching and um, we'll see you then see you later